Hello students, welcome to RH Chemistry. In today's video, we will see how this ranks will be calculated by NTA. Most of us we don't know or we have a confusion that if the two students have got same marks, what will be the criteria to announce the rank? That I am going to discuss in today's short video. Yes, here we know that for preparing the NEET rank list, the agency gives preference to the overall marks or raw score. NEET UG rank is prepared by considering various other factors such as difficulty level of the exam, total number of the candidates appeared for the exam and the exam preparation level of students. All these factors will affect NEET UG rank. So difficulty level or it may be difficulty level, total number of candidate appears, all these will affect the NEET UG rank. So remember, a candidate must score at least 670 to 690 marks to feature in top 100 NEET UG 2020 rank list. Remember, is a very important score is that 670 to 690. It may in more than 700 this year. In case one or more candidates have the same raw score, same raw score, the marks would be compared through the tiebreaker policy that have been imposed by the agency. What is the tiebreaker policy that we will see now? Which means if the two students have got same marks, the total marks PCB out of 720, then what will be the tiebreaker policy that we will see? See, according to this tiebreaker policy, NATA has four different policies. Remember, four different policies they have. First one we will see. First one is that as per the tiebreaker policy, the candidates who have secured high marks in biology section of the entrance exam will be ranked higher than the others. Very simple. If the two students have got same marks, total marks, then they will see biology marks. If higher is the biology marks, that students will give first preference in the ranking. In case the two students have secured same score in this, then policy number two will be enforced. So policy number one is that high marks in biology. If two students have got same marks, high marks in biology will consider. Policy number two is that if biology marks are also same, then remember we will consider highest score in chemistry. Candidates who have scored highest score in chemistry will be considered to announce the rank if biology marks are also same. Just imagine two students suppose secure same score in chemistry also. Very less possibility, fine, we will think about that possibility also. Then policy number three will be enforced. If two students have got same marks in chemistry, then policy number three. What is policy number three? Policy number three is that, remember, in this case, least number of incorrect answers in all subjects, including biology, chemistry, and physics will be considered. Which means incorrect number of answers they will consider. Least number of incorrect. So, First, they will see biology marks. If that is also same, then chemistry marks. Second point, if that is also same, then third policy, least number of incorrect answers, they will consider. If that is also same, just imagine that incorrect answer is also same, then policy number four will be considered. That is very, very rare case. In that case also, policy number four will be considered. Now, the, those students who are older in age will given first preference over younger ones. So, the meaning is that those who are older compared to younger will get first preference. Because older means they may have written the exam two, two times, three times by, uh, by taking one year, two year gaps. So, we will give that first preference to older one compared to younger one. Now you can ask, this is the last policy, now you can ask, sir, fourth policy is also same. On the same day, if the students have born, what to do? See, fifth policy is not explained. The reason is, maybe 100% sure, till now NT have not come across that particular case. 
it's not possible that case is not come across hence they don't have any fifth policy in this case now let us take one example see these are the four example i will take candidate number a b c d have scored same mark 600 600 600 600 now who has to collect first you have to say biology highest marks biology highest marks 316 316 will consider then we will say chemistry both are same what to do then they will see incorrect answer they will not see the date of birth they will see incorrect answer incorrect answer is less for 21 more for 23 because of that reason first rank will be given for c second rank will be given for b like that now just imagine third and fourth rank you can see 290 290 both are having same marks in chemistry also both having same incorrect number of questions also then they will see march may 7 2000 april 1 2000 which who who is older one who is younger one if you see april 1 2000 is older one may 7 2000 is younger one hence remember april 1 2000 will get third rank right so may 7 2000 will get fourth rank like this remember the ranks will be announced by nta i hope this point is very clear for you like this the ranks will be announced because of that reason remember even the same marks can have same marks can have remember 50 to 60 rank difference remember 50 to 60 rank difference it is possible or at least 10 rank difference it is possible I hope you understood how the rank will be calculated. So there is nothing which will affect your rank, but you have to know this, the knowledge, general knowledge it is, right? So thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support. Have a nice day.